what I want to do is just show how uh, here we have the application problems for Eureka Math, and each day is on a different slide. Uh, if you wanted to, you could share this entire presentation with your students, but if you wanted to hand out assignments, either printing them one at a time or pushing them out to a Google Classroom, this isn't really the best option. So I'll, so I'll show you a workaround that I have for that. Um, the first thing we'll do here is go to File and go to Print Settings and Preview. And it's going to try and print these in landscape. So I changed it to Portrait. Um, it just it makes it easier to read. And you can see here that you've got this border around you can go into the slides and make that border white if you want to, or go to the master slides and change it, but I think it'll be fine just like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to download this as, and oh, keep in mind, I hand out one slide per page. I'm going to download this as a PDF. You could, if you wanted to, if you're going to print these out for kids, two slides per page would probably work. Um, and then just cut them in half, and then you would have two days worth. There's probably enough room there. But I'm going to go back to one slide per page, and I'm going to download this as a PDF. And I'm going to hit save. Now I'm doing this from my Chromebook. Just keep in mind. And there's a website called PDF Candy that I use. There's a bunch of websites that'll do this. Um, right now, I have this PDF. And you can choose to print page two if you wanted to, print page three and go through this process. But if you want to split this into multiple files, what we'll do is open up, uh, like I said, I use PDF Candy. There's other sites that will do this. And I'm just going to use the splint, split PDF option. And this will take that PDF and split every file, I'm sorry, every page into its own file. So let's drag this in here. and I'm going to hit split PDF, and this will take a little bit. All right, the PDFs got done splitting, and that took about two minutes. Um, so I'm gonna download this file, and it will be a zip file. So I'm gonna hit save, and now when I go to the files, here they are, and you'll be able to see that each file is its own page, all right? Um, you could then just, I'm gonna sort these by name. You could send all these to your Google Drive and push them out through Google Classroom. If your kids have touchscreen devices, like an iPad or a tablet, they could then annotate right on top of them, all right? 